Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Unit. This is Corbin. Rick. And we are on to episode number five of Delhi Crime. Not crimes. I think I've said crimes a couple times. It's Delhi Crime. Um, the last episode, they've all been fantastic, but the last episode, we figured out what we had already thought uh, was the case is that the boyfriend is not who he says he is, or that it's a very right. something something's very strange about the boyfriend. I don't know if he lured yeah. her to them. I don't know what his deal is, um, but we're, we're figuring it all out, and it's all been in terms of acting, how pretty everything is, how well everything's being told. Mm -hmm. um, it's been very, very good. Also, I figured out that there is no handcuff. In order to, apparently, this is what I was told. In order to handcuff somebody in India, you need a judicial ruling um, to handcuff them. Yeah. So they cannot be handcuffed until after they've been found guilty in court. Apparently. I don't know, man. He's obviously different countries, different laws. Uh, but yeah, that's why we haven't seen like anybody being handcuffed. Because they okay. they just don't. They, that's not part of their procedure. Um, so I don't know. It's this is it's so interesting, actually, to learn all the little different nuances different countries have from one another in terms of criminal justice uh, procedures. Uh, and, yeah. Um, and we, we, uh, somebody on Patreon wanted to clarify is like, not all jurisdictions are this, uh, money strapped. And we know that we know that, uh, but obviously this one is very money strapped, uh, and doesn't have a lot of funds for even keeping on the lights. So, right. But. It's fantastic. So this next episode is called episode five. So I wonder what that's about. I bet it's about the fifth episode. <laughs> Don't mind it, me. I'm bananas. Anyways, if you'd like, uh, once again, you can only use five minutes of cut up footage. Amazon Netflix is basically all the same now. That's all. Eventually, they'll want us to use like half a minute of uh, cut up footage. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Five minutes is better than none. <laughs> That's true. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, head over to Patreon, uh, and you can check it out over there. You ready, Rick? Yep. Three, two, one. I do really pre because there's a lot of um, night shots in this show, and they've all been lit very, very well. Very well. Night shots are an underappreciated form of film uh process of filmmaking i feel they sh they sure are like people think you can just show up at night and right, film with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and get those beautiful shots but it's an incredibly right. difficult process to make it look natural and pretty un sabse taakatwar kisi ko bhi maar sakta tha bas ke sheeshe tod sakta tha chilla sakta yep. tha something if she was yep. my girlfriend i would have died for her yup yup exactly okay. same bro you should have been beat up more. Yeah, talk about that. Nothing wrong. I'll be surprised if she ignores that. She's too smart. Yeah, there's no way she's ignoring that. No way. She's way too smart. That's why she's moving him. Is that the mall we went to? I was. I had the exact same thought. Guys, please tell us if that's the mall we went to. It looks like it. Sorry, 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 sorry. So rather again. Bro, don't do something stupid yeah. that's gonna make him get off. Yeah. Babes. I love how supportive he's been of her. He hasn't that's questioned so one thing about when are you coming home? Nothing. He's just been there. Taking care of the he daughter. Fighting this Great husband. The show's done a good job at um, showing like the the their personal lives mm -hmm. 
like we've talked about. He's done a great job in this series. Yeah, he has. Marriage classified? That's a thing? I don't understand. Wow. So, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? They're like, uh, you sat next to the talker. Thank you, Jake. How long did they say it took to get her to a hospital? I think they they got there and it took seven minutes to move her. But the media said it took like an hour. I just don't want you to touch me. What is this, Sandy? We are so many friends. Nothing. It doesn't matter. Don't touch people if they don't want you to touch them. Weirdo. <laughs> Hello. Amen. I know, man. Don't do that. I'm sorry. There's a no contact policy between officers and victims and... I have that same contact policy. Such incidents occur, but unless you give me specifics, I cannot answer them. And I do agree that there is ample room to improve police behavior, and I'm as committed to doing it as all of you are. Choti, I will stress this in the parliament. We do our How are you doing? When are you coming back home? I don't know. Not until this is over. I feel like that's huh. the mall we went to. I think it's I think it's the mall. I could be wrong. Um, interesting. A lot going on, but it was a relatively one of the slower episodes in terms of the main plot. They didn't catch anyone. They didn't. It was a lot of stuff that's probably going to get in the way of the investigation, like either one of the officers hurting him, uh, hurting one of the suspects and them getting off because of something like that. Um, the, obviously the whole thing with the politicians and all of that. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm fearful that something's going to get in the way and justice won't be brought. <laughs> yeah. And is this a one season show? Currently it's one season. Um, okay. And but I don't I don't know if it, there's plans for a second season. I don't know if it's going to be like a different crime. I don't know. Okay. Because we only have two episodes left. Yeah. We're nowhere near a trial. None. So that that, so, that, that gives me a lot of fear that <laughs> something Yeah, some, that leads me to something happens. There's only one of three options. Mhm. Mm one this never went to trial and these guys got off. Ugh, that would be terrible. Two, it did go to trial and they're just going to tell us what happened at the end with some statements that when it went to trial, da 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 Or this story doesn't end with season one. Because I can't, you can't, I mean, I'll be shocked if they can take this from where it is right now to the trials and justice being served. In two episodes. We're still missing what? Two people? Yeah, they haven't even caught everybody yet. Yeah, so we're, we're missing two people, and the others haven't been obviously put on trial. And yeah, there's been no. We haven't yeah, nothing. We haven't figured out what's going on with the boyfriend. Right. Which I still it's it's so strange to me because she asked about him. So maybe she thought he was her boyfriend as well, but he was somebody else. And he he was like, he duped her, basically. Maybe. Which would be terrible. This whole thing is yeah. terrible. So, but yeah, because we're, we're 75% of the show, is over, the season's over. I, I do want to point out... Um, a, Probably my favorite moment thus far of um, Shafali Shaw. Mm -hmm. When she goes in to talk to Topeka. Yeah. Topeka asks her if she's the DCP and she goes to lean forward to talk to her. 
she went to put her hands on the bed as she talked to her and then chose not to put her hands on the bed mm. because she didn't want to disturb her lying on the bed. That is an actress so fully authentic in the moment, so fully aware of her surroundings. I guarantee that wasn't scripted. If it was, maybe they did it in the, and they talked about it and she knew it, made it seem like an instinctual, in the moment, authentic realization of i don't want to disturb this girl and it, it spoke volumes about her work as an actress and it spoke volumes about the moral compass of this this woman she's portraying yeah absolutely yep. um and like we've talked about i like that the show delves into just just tiny little snippets of these all these people's personal lives like it, it it's kind of like a one-off like anytime it mentions mm -hmm. like it's like Oh yeah, they have a home life, and they—it's just what these people deal with. Yep. They—they uh, they, when they have these intense cases, their wives bring them stuff. They don't go home for days. They—they're stressed, but obviously yep. a, a lot of them, like her, has a very supportive husband. Um, yeah. Who who maybe when it was earlier in her career struggled the way that guy's wife clearly when she got up to leave she had been hoping maybe she could have dinner with him at the office because her bringing him the dinner wasn't just a loving expression to him mm -hmm. her bringing him the dinner was a way of can i just find a way to spend time with my husband and and he didn't pick up on that and when she walked out i didn't see any condemnation in her face i just saw it spoke volumes about the struggles, especially if that's a true stat, what he said, that they don't get paid overtime and they'll see their family maybe two or three days a month. Mm -hmm. That's outrageous. Yeah. Um, there was a comment on um, Patreon that I, I think is important. I, and I think it's something we already understood, but I wanted to read it to you. Uh, sure. This person says, I think it's important for you to keep in mind certain things about mindset, the relationship and understanding of sex, the view of which being something men are entitled and women provide the lack of education or awareness of consent. Um, obviously, this is uh, um, and so they just wanted to clarify that we we totally understand that that even though it might be heightened in india it's that's almost to a lot of people that's the view here uh it's it's men are entitled to sex and and you are obliged especially if you are a wife to give that uh to mm -hmm. them uh, we know it's it's probably heightened more in a place like india um especially with stuff like arranged marriage and 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 all this kind of stuff um, but we, it's some, it's, it's, it's something we absolutely understand. We understand we don't agree <laughs> in terms of obviously that's not how it should be. Um, mm -hmm. obviously consent is the two most important things. Sex is never a guarantee, regardless of if you are married, uh, in a relationship, anything, uh, sex mm -hmm. is something between two people who are consenting and any time they one person says no regardless of if the act has already started that means no so yeah <laughs> and, and that's where you know when when we say things like rape is not a sex act it's a violent act yeah that's not to negate the realities behind what people rationalize mm -hmm. and what people say they're doing yeah. But just because you say something is based within a framework of what you've experienced culturally doesn't mean that's what it is, because there will be people who have no problem whatsoever with being belligerently drunk every single day and just say, we just drink in our culture. No, you're an alcoholic. Yeah. And it 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 is not a negation of the fact that. Uh, a perversion of sex is taking place. Yeah. But the moment the other person has said stop, it's not a sex act anymore. Or has it's not a group. Or, or has not even. Uh, uh, yeah. It's like, has not. Yeah. And it looks like they're uncomfortable. If even if they're not Correct. verbally yeah. acknowledging it. And, yeah. And, and, and no matter how much, you know, no matter how much a man says, uh, I'm not getting enough sex or I was turned on by her violently 
violating a woman in that way is not a sex act. Sex is never guaranteed. You are not entitled to sex ever, regardless. And the, <laughs> ever. And the, and the moment one person says no and you continue, it ceased to, ceases to be a sexual activity and is now crossed into the lines of becoming a violent activity. Even if you are married. Correct. Sex is not a guarantee, even she is not your property. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, just wanted to get that off my chest. Also, I thought it was interesting um, that they brought up the budgets, which is yeah. obviously a point of contention currently in the United States, uh, because he, he brought up the fact that the New York Police Department, one of the biggest police departments in the country, has a $4 billion um, budget. So, there's many reasons for that. Uh, and some, and some, it's not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> no. Uh, the fact that our military is, I mean, our, our police are militarized. Um, so, but obviously we have, they have 9 million people there. They have 17 million people in Delhi and they are underfunded. Um, and obviously yeah. underfunded. If they can't afford the lights on, that's a bare necessity. We're not even talking about like... Yeah. Kevlar vests. We're talking about electricity. Well, uh, <laughs> and, and that's a good point to, to, to point out because we've mentioned how disappointing it is that so many of the people on the force really aren't giving their full effort in a lot of the respects. Yeah, all the males, well, especially. Would, yeah. yeah, well, on the other hand, you know, you would expect that in the American legal system where people are making a good living and they have health insurance and they get to go home and be with their family. If you are only getting to be with your family two or three days a week, I mean, two or three days a month, you're not getting overtime. You're underfunded. So you don't have the resources you need. I could see where you'd reach a place of going, you know what? I really don't feel like doing this the right way. Yeah. So yeah, fantastic. I have no idea how they're going to finish this up in two episodes. I have, I'm fearful. Yeah. I'm fearful that like it's something's going to go. Something's going to go. Something's going to go wrong. You know what's going to happen? Hmm. Somebody somehow is going to plant a bomb in the city, and that woman from Sacred Games is going to come and screw it up with her passwords. Probably. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. All right. Well, wait a minute. Oh, what? Hold on. What? Is that woman in Sacred Games her? No. You sure? Positive. Okay, who's the woman in Sacred Games that does that with the code at the end? I think that's just a random actress. That's not a name actress. It's not Shafali Shah? No, absolutely not. Okay. Okay. No. It's. I think that's just a random actress. Um, All right. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I can almost guarantee I'm not. Um Actually, I could be wrong that she is a name, but I can almost guarantee it's not this actress at all. All right. So, I'm looking all right. on IMDb. Well, you're wrong. So, let's <laughs> see. Uh, filmography. Let's go with TV actress. Crime. She is in Juice. It, it doesn't even look like her, Rick. It's not her. Any old who. On to the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>